Well, the way I see it, the boundary is the public interfaces, right? Only make public things, they actually need to be public. And then everything that is internal and private, I try not even to use a testable in the test side as much as I can, because then I'm forced to only use public interfaces. And it helps me discover what needs to actually be public as well. Yeah. Right. So we always start from the, the boundary of the testability is the public interface. What's not public, I try not to test directly as much as I can. I don't even use at testable because then I cannot even physically compile the, the file yeah. <laughs> if I try to access an internal type. So in the program, when we show integration tests, which is one of the strategies, we test through the view controllers. But we also don't create the view controllers. We use a composer in the test side that creates the view controllers. And we test everything through the public interfaces of the view controller. Now, the view model, we never made it public. I don't know if you remember that. Because yeah. since they were internal, we were not testing it directly to the test. We were testing them in integration yeah. right, through the, the boundary, the public boundary, which in that case was the view controller. Now, the same way you need to test the Swift UI view. And if you can test through the Swift UI view, like you do with view controllers, and your view model is not public, then you test, test directly through the Swift UI view. You know, there are some new frameworks now that you can actually tap on buttons and traverse the Swift UI hierarchy in unit tests. So you can write unit tests or integration tests through the Swift UI views. So it can be done. I didn't know it was possible. It is possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's not officially supported yet, but it's possible. So the boundary is the public interface. Now, if you get this view model and going back to the other question and you say, well, this view model is going to be reused across applications. So I'm going to move it to another module and I need to make them public. Now that this is a public type, I will test it directly as well through the UI. So I can refactor the UI and refactor things without breaking the tests. I have these integration tests that help me guarantee the UI is working nicely with the view models. But in the other module where I move that public view model, I will test it in isolation to make sure that it works accordingly. Okay. Because now it's public. 